Shadow, you happy? Not a shadow, hey. That's a good boy, Solo. That's the way you should lay down. Now we check out what we have here. This is my little house. Yeah, with a fireplace inside and some simple furniture. Mostly the way is a little bit big outside because it's for the dogs. Uh, yeah, this is my home sweet home. Sunset, we're having the sunset soon. That's a little swan. Maybe you see them swimming there a little bit. That's my home sweet home. A little house, about three meters by two meters. It's enough for a small lady like me. We even have television. So we have everything here actually. Yeah. We even have a kitchen here. This is my cooking oven and chimney, nice kettle, nice wood, half self-built and half bought from the supermarket. <laughs> and this little terrace, my sunroom we built it for the dogs, a little bit bigger than my little house, otherwise they won't have enough room to stay. 
is his sofa. If you're tired, you can sleep on in my hammock. Okay, I told you, it's only two by three. Originally, there's no windows like this and like this. No, there's only one window, which is this one. And uh, I broke the wood out, I cut the wood away, and placed the window on it. So now I have three windows instead of one window. So you have to be smart to have what you want. They don't always build the way you want. Okay, there you are. You have my palace. The entirety of it. And the best place is here, where the dogs are. Because we have see-through roof, see-through wall. This is the roof that we built. We just built it with a plastic sheet, actually. It's not glass, because very windy here. I'm not sure if we're professional enough to hold the glass the way we want. So we just use plastic sheet. It's beautiful too. Nice, nice, and quick, simple, and safe for the dogs. I'm very proud of this building. <laughs> yeah, more proud than my little house. But I like that little house also. Very cozy, beautiful house. Oh, look at the big tum tum. You see the big tum tum he had on one side? <laughs> you guys are really shameful, aren't you, huh? You're afraid, no, afraid at all. I'm not even your owner, no. You are well done. You are. Hey, look at you. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, quack, quack, quack. You are happy. Quack, quack, quack. You are happy here, yeah. huh? <laughs> hey, good ducks. Hello. You grow so big now, you. Bon appetito. I love you. Good appetite. And you're a good duck. Come here, honey. It's all for you. I love love. You are that a good girl. It's all for you. There you are. Good duck. Come, come, come to mama. Yeah, food ready. 
quack, 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 quack. These are the family of ducks at regular came for feeding. They lovely, 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 and they lovely. Very obedient to the mother, so they will not get into a problem. Very good duck, duck. Whenever they see me coming with the bread, they are running. And now they enjoy in their lunch. Mama is always watching. See that? She go and hire birds so she can watch over them. Well, they are too flourishing. Mama is so attentive, protective. Children are so feeling love, safe, and joy in themselves so much. What a life they have there, huh? She's covering the cell with blankets and sleep. It's all right, honey. You continue sleeping. <laughs> so cute. He's sleeping in my garden. He just ate too much and now he's tired and he's sleeping. Okay, so let you sleep. You have to go to the left, and we open the door let you out, okay? Oh, they're going to the field. Oh, wow, my love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on. It's uh, very freely, you know, from here to there, get some more to eat. Because I live wet, always there's something for him and for the birds, you know? So we enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So I just chose a very secluded place. Put some bread and they come and eat. And that's good, good. Fufu. Goodbye. Hey, Fufu. The girl. The girl is more used to with me than the boy. Isn't her new boyfriend? She was alone before, remember? So she brought a new boyfriend here and they're together now. Mostly if one eat the other stand guard. <laughs> they both are so patient and sweet. Wait for me. I'll come, okay? I hear you. Stress, call, and they always come. Hmm? Okay?
Touch any okay? the, the human touch make it sting to them. They're very sensitive. And they will abandon them. Understand me? Don't ever touch it. What a beautiful net they make here. Oh, oh wow, well, with seaweeds and everything. That is the middle of it, the center of it. And the rest is just rounded and rounded like a cake. Oh, incredible. I know I'm human a bit, but I'm not, I'm not human. There you are. I left a lot of food on the island. You go back. Don't go too far, it's tiring. Cookie. She just came from Sicily now. She came back to her neck. I cleaned her up. She cleaned her up before I come back to her neck. That's her neck. Yeah, a couple of them take turns to hatch. Yeah, that's a good boy. The other partner just came down to eat, and now he came up to the place. Wonderful. Uh-huh. Back in the earth now. There you are. Where are you? Ah, oh, you do good. Beautiful. You keep the hat already. Wow, congratulations. 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 Oh, it's already hatched, man. You did, Mama. Yeah, you keep them there. Papa is here now. Papa, worry, don't worry. I'm good for you. La, 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 la. Wow, you're a beautiful kid. So beautiful. Fantastic, you are. Oh, so cute. Thank you for trusting me. Oh, wait, wait. Hello, baby. You beautiful. Heaven love you. And I love you. You are God love. You beautiful. Everything Taking a piece of bread in his mouth. And see, and then I'll give it to the kid. There, little baby, waiting there. There, there. Good appetite, yum yum. All of the parents and your food. I'm just a provider for your parents to sleep. Oh, that's nice. Yum 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 yum. She did some bread over there and now she found it. Now they eat there in that corner. She didn't already. Can't even find them. But they have hidden it in, in the, near the bushes so they, they can eat without fear. Oh, and the male come out and guard him. Ah, oh, yeah, the father take him home. Like a wonderful creature. I love all of them. The bad, the good, the pretty, and the ugly. Uh, just for now, for it, but they have to come back soon. So the kids are hungry, so sick. Oh, she always come back for a kid. Get a little food, and then go. Always save some food in her mouth. For the kids.
so beautiful you are. So beautiful. <laughs> see, see he dies. See how long he can come up. Oh, he's not up yet. There he is. Just came up. Well, that's a long dive. Tell you. Very talented guy. He's a great crested bait. Very magnificent. The feather plumage is so beautiful. Here they are safe and they're free now. They are protected species. They're beautiful, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> They know they're being filmed. Oh, so wonderful. Yeah, waiting for each other. Oh, that's cool. So gentlemen you are. The stronger and go faster than I think the male. And the one following must be female and he always wait for her. They're beautiful. So this is the island. Mm. Today, uh, no wind, huh? all this flower didn't flow away yet. Imagine, legs covered by the flower. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Pitu. Pitu, I brought you some bread again, honey. Can you eat? Can you pick it up, okay, honey? You're a good girl. You're a really mom. Such a good boy you are. And you're a vegetarian. So I have to serve you because you're good, good. Hey, baby. There you eat, okay? Oh, good girl. There you are. Eat, keep yourself strong, okay? There you are, baby. And I'll leave a lot here for you to find it later to eat. Okay? I'll leave some more a little bit farther. Yeah, like that. Well, if I don't want to put too near the ants, they can come make trouble. Oh, and the salad. Good. Mm. Good spinach. Good spinach, girl. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Uh, I'm not coming back until tomorrow. Here you are, baby love. I put it everywhere, okay? You go find them. Okay, now. Bye bye. Take good care, huh? Protect your eggs, okay? Hatch it well. I want many babies. <laughs> Run around. Bye, Pitu. Bye, Sai. This is a 
beautiful wild island and they love to nap around. It's the safest place for her, huh? And, and he can even watch her and she can even see him. It's a very good place. It's a good, good, safe place. Good place. Even have two ducks bodyguards every day. <laughs> They are good friends. Yeah. Wow. That night we have friends like that. Hang around all day. <laughs> Protecting you. See, she eats just a little bit. She don't even leave the place, huh? She just pick up whatever around her and eat. Because if she eats too long, the egg becomes full again and it's difficult to heat it up, you know? It's bad for them. Okay, the water yesterday helped you. I don't know, maybe we should have bought something to put the food on it. No, but I don't want to be too intrusive and they might get scared, you know? The big tray or something like that, yeah? Oh, that's, this is a, it's a nice day to get out, hey, baby? Yeah. I love you. Feel my love. Feel my love for you. Yeah. We are very good for you. I love you and bless you. You're so beautiful and you're even vegetarian. Yeah, that's a very good thing you're doing. I'm proud of you. You're beautiful and your eggs are lovely, lovely. Yes. Seven eggs is incredible, sweetheart. Every day one more egg, but that should be enough. Seven is lucky number, no? Or you want to have it more? It's up to you, of course. We're going to have a lot of swans swimming around here. It's so happy. My God. First it's only two, and then three, and then four, five. The day before six, today seven. Wow. You're really incredible. Me too. I'm proud of you. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, look at that, she go out so the sun hatch her eggs a little bit. Is that correct? Am I correct, Pitu? Yeah, you leave your egg for the sun to hatch. At this time, you can go down and have a little drink. Look at Sai, he enjoys so much. Bye-bye, Sai. So beautiful you are. If you're at home here with me, huh? Yes, I live here too, Sai. I live here. All of us. It's good, good. Yeah, prune yourself. You're so pretty anyway. Look at this baby just came out to the world. Look at this baby, you beautiful bird. Hello and welcome to beautiful world. Wow, you are beautiful, you. You're so pretty. Oh my God, oh, your babies are so pretty. Oh, crazy, oh my God, you're pretty, pretty bird. I'm so proud of you, Pitu. Congratulations, Pitu. Welcome to the world, all of you. May you be well and happy. God will take care of you every day. God loves you so very, and I love you true, truly. Hurra! Well done. They all come out beautiful and healthy, wonderful, my God. La, 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 la. This is their first day out with Papa. <laughs> and there's one more egg, so Mama has to stay and hatch it. You don't see how much is a little white dot over there. They go very far in the middle of the lake. We don't see them much, but they're beautiful. You can see them with your eyes. So <laughs> Father is teaching them how to eat the plants, how to find the plants in the deep of the lake. 
Just a few feet away, and the mother just let me do it. Thank you, Pitu. You are very good mother and a good friend. I leave bread everywhere, okay, Pitu? You feed yourself and your children, okay? Of course, you went out and you found a lot of plants and all that. You feed your children. You are such a good mother. You are. The bread is just a little extra, okay? Yeah, I don't want you to get used to it too much with human. My God, look at that! He eats so much, he's so fat. I want well, you see the stomach sticking out. He's standing there, the stomach's so big. <laughs> must have been fat a lot. The good mother must have probably have been able to find a lot of food for them, so they all look very well fed and chubby, chubby, fatty. <laughs> And they swim so fast. I can't believe it's so small and swim so fast. Thank you, Pitu. Thank you for this honor. Thank you for your trust. You know I'm good to you and your kids, right? I love them. I love you and I love your children. I worry about them. I want them well and happy. So I brought the bread, okay? All right. Kissing the mother, what a lovely scenery, huh? I lived there before, but I don't live there now. I, I don't want to disturb them. I want to give them pressure, so I leave them alone. So I just let them have it. I go somewhere else, find another place to camp. Okay, now, baby love. Oh, <laughs> I just so lovely. I want to stay here and look at them all day. They must be tired. They came back from long swimming from the middle of the lake together. So I let them rest now. Thank you. Ciao. You see, they have very smartly chosen this spot because it's at the edge of the water. You can see this. And it's just a few steps. And it's a nest. And there's a sun all day. So even if they left their egg here alone, the sun is hatching it for them. A happy family outing. <laughs> I can stop over my place a little while and see I don't have anything for them and without demanding and they just slept somewhere else. They'll find a water plant to eat. That's it. Simple life. Just two, three days and they know how to feed themselves and swim so fast already. Wow. And we thought we humans are very clever and fast. They were already eating the bread that I gave. Right, they're relaxing with me. They don't worry. Yeah, he's a father, all right. He's side side because he's had black feet. The other one has lighter color. They're not so small, but they keep eating, eating. Parents have no chance. Poor parents. My God. Can you imagine how much time it takes to feed them if the food has to be found by the parents somewhere? The parents always nip a little bread to bring it out for them, as to show them they're here, still here, eat. They don't even eat. 
I'm going to get studio. Believe it or not. Cosmo, where does it all go? Hmm, how big is your tum tum? They love the lectures. Always love it. In no time they will finish that lecture. When they didn't have babies yet, eat and eat and eat. When they have babies, they sacrifice. Oh, such a touching love. All can love each other. Even half of this. Human love each other like this. Then the world is a paradise. Like mother, like it, screaming together. They're grooming themselves extensively now. You know, whatever the mother does, they do it. They're not attached to each other at all. But the father can be far away somewhere, and the mother just took the kids home and cleaning and enjoying the time. They're not blaming each other, they're not sticking to each other. So free, such a free being you are. Beautiful relationship. Loving but not attaching. After the season's over, each one goes different ways. And the kids grow up also go different ways. What a nice relationship. Each one is free to do what he or she thinks proper. Well, sometimes if she needs, she call him, but mostly she let him free. They never oblige each other anything. It would be very nice for human, right? Also to emulate this kind of relationship. They are very responsible, but very free with each other. The father has to guard over there. Sometimes the bees will come by and he will shoot them away. Protect the children from his territory. He never hurt any. He just shoot them away. Just fly with them side by side and escorting them out of his territory. That's it. And then he come back and accompanying them out. That's it. He never hurt anyone. Father is taking a time for himself. Really enjoying it. He cleaned his legs, his toes, his nails, and everything. It took a long time to groom himself. So clean. He didn't groom him half an hour away. Mother always keeps a watchful eye. Huh? She groom herself, but she always watch. Grooming and watching. Watch over her children. Always alert. And these kids are very, very obedient to the mother and father. They're an excellent example of good kids. Even when they're eating, mother sends some danger. She just makes one noise and then they all follow her. Leave the food immediately. It's good children there. Dear heaven, they are so beautiful, they are so lovely, who made them so? Eating a little plant from the bottom of the leg. Bread for me a little bit, but even without. How oh, you have so much energy and stamina to care of your kids like that. She doesn't eat. 
doesn't sleep, both of them. The father also doesn't sleep at night. In daytime he went garden out there, on his garden house. The mother stayed with the children. They are both wonderful, wonderful parents, wonderful children. Taking care of five growing kids all day, all night. Who was I, Sai? You hear that? Sai Sai is snoring. You know, the kids begin to wake up. I think they won't let him sleep anymore. They go and eat so often. The guy has to wake up and go find food and go defend for them, protect them. It's a big job to be a father swan. I love you people. You look so beautiful there, people. You look so noble and beautiful. This is good shit. I love it. And all together in the day, it's beautiful. Peaceful, I love it. I love this, I love I love this, people. So the eel and the duck. Ducklings and the chicklings all together, the kiko and shwanikito all together. Peace and harmony. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? It's a long way to swim from the island here. See how the parents are guarding their young. They never relax one moment. Keep guarding since half an hour already. Never relax. Wow. What a devotion, huh? If we all devote like this to God, then we would attain the heaven in no time. Wow, they're eating the lectures so deliciously. Ah. Like school, the whole leg is alone. I'm 
camping here to wait for them to come back. Five hours away. We are both waiting. Hi, Sai, come. Beautiful boy, come here. Good boy. Yeah, where can you go? I love you. Don't be so lonely. I'm here. I will come back because I will miss you. But you're so wonderful, Father. Just that you lost a lot of the wing feathers, so you can't fly now. I must feel frustrated, huh? Yeah, come here to Mama. <laughs> Your friend. Come, I have good bread for you. You go behind the dock where it's not too windy, and then I give you some bread. The bread doesn't taste as good as when you are with your family, right, honey? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for answering. But just keep yourself strong, eh? Eat it so you get strong. And then your feather will grow back. Then you can fly with them. Poor Sai cannot fly. Could you pluck them to lay the nest, right? You are a good father, you. I'm proud of you, Sai Sai. You are a good boy. Yeah, you are. Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be very enthusiastic about eating today because family is not here. Oh, he eats, but normally he eats with good stuff. Today he doesn't eat with good stuff, so he feels a little bit lonely, I guess. He don't even know when the mother and the kids come back. They flew very far today. Maybe 50 kilometers, something away from here. That's why they don't come back so quick. I love you, Sai. Boy, good girl. You are? You are? <laughs> you are the biggest, huh? You are the biggest, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you hungry, huh? Coming, 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 coming. See, sometimes they finish eating and they chew the bread into bits. And push it to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> That's for the fish. <laughs> They're feeding the fish. <laughs> you get that, you get that. Yeah, that's a good. There's no need for that. The fish can do it themselves, no? But it's very nice of you guys. Very generous of you guys. That's good, good, good. See the difference between the wings. The foreign grown wing cover almost all the way half to the tail. And the one that's uh, cut in half is not covering anywhere to the tail. You can see the difference. Now, right now, Sai is not in a position to fly because his wing is only half. He pluck it and lie the ground for the children. So he cannot fly anymore. He has to wait for a while. Well, at least you can walk on the water. We human, many cannot do it. <laughs> Be happy too. Yeah, you are happy. That's cool. <laughs> Living together, growing together, just being together.
and even make contented grunting noise. Mmm. <laughs> like human, you know. Mmm. You go so big already. Huh? So big. Yeah, the coat is coming to eat now. <laughs> yeah, you have plenty. So far away there, it's coming. He always comes to eat with the... The duck, that's so sweet. Yeah, nice song. Nice song. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful song you sing. Just do the most. I love you. Bye. Bye for now. Bye bye. Trusting me, Viva, so near. Wow, you're beautiful. Yeah, I can see you even underwater. You're cool. You see the horizontal line? That's all him. Him and his tail. He's enjoying the breath. Hi, BB. You enjoying? You're a big one, honey. Oh, man, you 
you can eat a lot. I'll get up the table and I'll visit you. Huh? You found something? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Ooh, you can eat a lot. Huh? That's cool. Wow, I can see you. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's all yours. Don't worry. Take your time. Eat slowly. Big fish there, you see that? A lot of them. Because we don't eat them, so they grow and be. They're happy, they come in for bread or something. Mm -hmm. See how big they are? So big. Big and friendly fish. So beautiful. Very good fish. Thank you. your back because you don't have a floor but you play with your tail. Thank you baby. Thank you for doing that for me. One big, one small, one on the sofa, one on the floor. One is sleeping, one is chewing. What are we all doing? What are we all doing? One big, one small. Yeah. One on the sofa, one on the floor, 
one is sleeping and one is chewing. What are we all doing? And we're going to be eating. We're going to be dining because we have a nephew. Yeah, yeah. So now we gotta go, okay? Ego, you hang around, okay? You hang around, hang around. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, good boy. It out of the <laughs> Don't go too far, okay? You stay here and you barbecue, right? Such a good boy. Yeah. Today we like to barbecue, okay? If you want to eat it first like that, it's fine too. You want to eat just like that? Yeah, tofu? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Happy? Mm. You want it like that, it's fine. Yeah, just a little bit. Just to taste, okay? And then we have to barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. 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 Yes, Everybody, there are a lot of room. Wow, <laughs> tomato. Yeah. Oh. You can see some swan and ducks down there. Oh, they are coming. Where are your kids? Down there? You're coming up first, huh? Yeah, you go to water, I'll bring some bread, okay? I'm bringing. Good appetite. <laughs> you're very hungry, aren't you? How come you're hungry all day? Yeah, we fed you four times already. You're growing big now, that's why, huh? But you have to find your own food also, okay? So you can retain your independence and the wildness, which means freedom. Hmm? I love you though, but I want you to remain free. Freedom is the best.
Wow. So many of you. I'm proud of you guys. I love you. The more can you look at that. Wow. Lots and lots of you. Cool. <laughs> so many, huh? Oh, <laughs> okay, they are beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Just now they email each other and they all come. <laughs> Originally only a few and then they just email each other and they all come so quick, 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 you see? Huh? You on movie side? Very, very protective of his kids and family. The territorial side side. The Pector side side. He is suing the Canadian League. He doesn't hurt them, he just sues them. He just sue them out, that's it. Look at him. He could not even fly. He has only half wing, but he could scare them all out. Scare them all off. Look at that. Oh, God. He's very diligent and effective. <laughs> when he's alone, without children and partner, he doesn't sue anybody. But when his children are around, he's relentless. He doesn't allow anyone go near. Well, sometimes he does. Out of his so-called territory. Okay. Okay, you guys are going, huh? Papa, so long then. I love you.